today's interpolation i am going to explain the problem using stirling's formula so using stirling's formula we have to interpolate the value of y when x is equal to 1.91 here the x values are given as 1.7 1.8 1.9 2.0 2.1 and 2.2 whereas the corresponding y values are also given so we have to compute the value for x is equal to 1.91 so in between 1.9 and 2.0 here the value of x is equal to 1.91 the corresponding y value should be known so here first of all we have to create the reference table these are all the x values and these are all the corresponding y values so this is the difference table the first difference delta y is equal to so this will be see this is a 6.6.0496 minus this is 5.4739 the value here is 0. This is 0. 0.5757. This is 0. 0.5757. And the next one, this is a 6.6859 minus this is a 6.0496. The value here is 0. 0.6363. And the next value here is a 7.3891 minus this is a 6.6859. The value here is 0 0.7032 and the next value is 8.1662 minus this is a 7.3891. The value here is 0 0.3771 and the next one this is 9.0250 minus this is 8.1662. The value here is 0. Point, this is 0.8588. And the second difference table here is this is 0 0.6363 minus 0 0.5757. The value here is 0 0.0606. This is 0 0.0606. And the next one, this is 0. Point, this is 7032 minus 0 0.6363. The value here is 0 0.0669. And the next one, this is uh, 0 0.7771 minus this is 0. Point, this is 7032. The value here is 0 0.0739. And the next one, this is 0 0.8588 minus 0 0.3771. That is 0, 0.0. This is 817. The next difference here will be 0 0.0669 minus this is 0 0.0606. The value here is 0 0.0063. And the next one 0 0.0739 minus 0 0.0669. The value here is 0 0.007. That is 0 0.0817 minus 0 0.0739. The value here is 0 0.0078 and the fourth difference value is 0 0.007 minus 0 0.0063 the value here is 0 0.0007 0 0.0078 minus 0 0.007 the value here is 0 0.008 0 0.008 minus 0 0.0007 the value here is 0 0.0001 so this is the difference table and using this difference table see here the value to be found is x is equal to 1.91 so here x is equal to 1.91 the nearest value to this is 1.9 so x naught I'm choosing as 1.9. This value is x naught. See here, obvi obviously this will be y naught. So if you observe this one, so this will be y minus 1, y minus 2. So this is y1, this is y2 and this is y3. As you can see, this is uh, difference delta 1, delta y. This is delta y and this is delta y and this is delta y. So from minus 2 we have to start. This is minus 2, this is minus 1, 0, this is 1 and this is 2. See here the next one. This one is uh, delta square. 
this is delta square so this is also delta square and this is also delta square so we have to start with minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and likewise so this will be delta cube by this is also delta cube by this is also delta cube by we have to start with minus 2 minus 1 1 so this is delta power 4 by this is delta power 4 by this is minus 2 and this is minus 1 this is delta power 5 this is minus 2 so from minus 2 we have to start minus 2 minus 1 0 1 minus 2 minus 1 0 like that so we have to keep on writing so i need one single value one double single double single that's it that's it we have to take all these values so till delta power 4 we can find out and this is the value that is x is equal to x naught plus p into h what is our x value that is 1.91 this is 1.9 this is p and the difference between these two is 0 0.1 so we need uh, the p value that is 1.91 minus 1.9 by 0 0.1 the p value here will be see here this is 1.91 minus this is 1.9 divided by this is 0 0.1 the value here is 0 0.1 so we got the value of p as uh, 0 0.1 so after getting 0 0.1 we have to substitute in the sterling's formula see let me tell you the sterling's formula once again so the sterling's formula will be yp is equal to so this is yp is equal to y naught plus p times of that is delta y naught plus delta y minus 1 by 2 plus this is p square by 2 into this value is delta square y minus 1 and this is p into this is p square minus 1 by 3 factorial into this is delta cube y minus 1 plus delta cube y minus 2 by 2 plus this value is p square into p square minus 1 by 4 factorial into this one is delta power 4 minus 2 plus and so on. So, we have to substitute all the values here. p value is nothing but 0 0.1. So, we have to substitute all these values. So, from this I have to take all these values. So, first one this is yp. What is y naught? y naught is nothing but 6 point this is a 6.6859 plus p value is 0 0.1 into this is delta y minus 1 this is delta naught so delta naught that is 0 0.7032 plus 0 0.6363 divided by 2 and the next one is p square that is 0 0.1 whole square by 2 into this is delta square y minus 1 so this is delta square y minus 1 0 0.0669 see here one single value double values single double like that so here the next one is p what is p here this is 0 0.1 this is 0 0.1 whole square minus 1 into 3 factorial is nothing but 6 and delta cube y minus 1 y minus 2 so this is delta cube y minus 1 minus 2 that is 0 0.007 plus 0 0.0063 divided by 2 plus this value is p square that is 0 0.1 whole square into this is 0 0.1 whole square minus 1 by 4 factorial which is equal to 24 into delta power 4 y minus 1 so delta power 4 y minus 1 is nothing but 0 0.0007 plus and so on see here if you observe we have to take a single value next double single double single like that and we have to move on so now we have to calculate all these values that is yp is equal to this is 6 point this is a 6859 plus if you use this calci this is 0 point this is 7032 plus 0 0.6363 divided by 2 into this is 0 0.1 so the value here is a 0 point this is a plus a 0 point zero double six nine so this is double six nine seven five and the next one this value will be so this value will be 0 point one square into this is 0 point zero double six nine divided by 2 the value here is see here the value here is a positive that is 0 
double three four five. The value here is zero point double three four five. And the next one, this value we have to calculate. So for this, zero point one square minus one into zero point one into within the brackets that is 0 0.007 plus this is 0 0.0063 divided by 12 the value here is this is minus 0 0.000 this is 109725 and the next value this value we have to calculate that is 0 0.1 square minus 1 into 0 0.1 square into 0 0.0007 divided by 24. The value here is minus 0 0.0000123456. From the 7th place we have to write like this. 75. And now we have to calculate all these values here. So, this value is equal to, this is a 6.6859 .6 plus, the next value is 0 0.066975 plus, this value is 0 0.0003345 and the next value here is minus 0 0.000, that is 109725 minus 0 0.6 zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 2 double 8 7 now the value here is a 6 point we got yp value as a 6.7530 and this is how we have to solve and this is so simple if you know the formula here first of all we have to create this difference table and later the nearest value to 1.91 is 1.9 so if you choose this as x0, the corresponding value will be y0. And these are the values which are needed for the substitution in the formula. And x is equal to 1.91 and x0 is equal to 1.9. And here is the p-value. After getting the p-value, this is the Stirling's formula. In this, if you substitute and using Calci. So, we got the value as a 6.7530. So, thank you so much for watching. And I'll be uploading many more problems regarding this series. Thank you. And uh, if you really like, you know what to do, please subscribe.